and I believe we are live. So, hello once again, friendly viewers. Uh, I've got uh, a special guest today, similar to uh, last week, if you saw uh, that. It was an interview with Matsuyama Takeshi. Um, but this week, I've got the one and only White Manga. So, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hey, uh, um, this is White Manga, and, you know, full name's Odunze. I am the artist of... Uh, Apple Black, the manga I'm working on. I'm an aspiring artist. I'm not a professional. I guess you're not a professional unless you get paid. And right now we're all broke, so <laughs> you know how that is. I've uh, worked on previous mangas like uh, Samurai Top Hat, and that should be should be available to read on mangamagazine.net. And uh, the first manga I finished, which was Candle Jack, and that was a while back. But you can also check that out on Mega Magazine. Awesome. Right. So, uh, yeah, so for people who are, well, I don't think we've got any any viewers at the moment, uh, but, oh, we've got two people in, actually, so two yeah. people straight away, so if, if you're in, if you're watching this, then remember to like this video so lots of people can see it, and uh, post your comments in the comment box, and we'll try to get to it. So, um, how's Apple Black going? I know that you've been slaving yeah. away at it. Yeah, yeah, um, basically, yeah, that's how it is, um... Unfortunately, my computer just shut down. Well, it has issues, uh, so I can't. Re I don't really have access to my manga studio at the moment. Uh -huh. This computer right now is actually not mine. Um, <laughs> but I have 39 pages done, like completely done, ready to you know be shown. I guess the last thing would be for someone to just watch out for maybe grammatical errors or artistic errors, maybe I drew something wrong, that kind of thing. Because I've had those kind of issues in the past where, you know, there's like a mistake right there and maybe like for a Samurai Top Hat now, uh, Ken and I missed a couple grammatical errors and stuff like that. Uh, uh, I don't really want to have any issues with that ever again. <laughs> so that's that. And then Apple Black is actually 50 pages for the first chapter. So the remaining 11 pages, that's what I'm inking right now. And when I'm done inking, you know, scan it in, and then I figure out how I'm going to tone. Uh, but I recently saw this. I didn't even know it was out. And this is a uh, Manga Studio 5. And we'll see how that works out. So, yeah. Oh, you yeah. missed it. Yeah. Oh, wow. At least for the meantime. So, right now, I'm inking. Oh, inking nice, a nice. So, um, so what, what's, the, what's, what's your... Oh right, <laughs> working, working all, all the time. Uh, well, how many, how many sort of hours are you um, sort of committed to this? Have you, have you, have you got like a lot of time to be doing it, or have you got like other commitments as well, or like um, how are you timetabling it? Yeah, I have other things that uh, take my time. Obviously, uh, school. I think right now, I think I have Spanish homework, <laughs> but uh, I'll get to that. Um, uh, yeah, there is school and some other personal stuff that I have to get get done. I'm actually working on getting some internships, you know, in places. I wanna, yeah, I want to do an internship in the summer. So it's not just manga is really big. Like this Apple Black thing is like it's almost like a dream project. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. there, are, you know, all my eggs are not in one basket, and uh, so I'm trying to do other things at the same time. Uh, and unfortunately, they get in the way. The same manga gets in their way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. So, well, so uh, I know a lot of people have been asking uh, me to ask you what what are you actually doing at school? Is it are you at college or? Yeah, I'm at college. Uh, I'm I'm in Texas, and uh, I'm a computer science minor and a fine art major. So oh. it's kind of like me mixing the two. Uh, maybe do a little graphics in here and there. Uh, probably uh, I worked on you know for for some things like games. You know, you where you. You have like three D models of the characters, and you do the character designs first. You know, front side, you know, drawing the character front side, left and right. Then you, you know, modeling it in a three D kind of format with uh, programs like Maya and Blender and stuff like that. And also on the art side, you know, it's a fine art major, but the concentration is drawing. So just t touching up my drawing, you know, skill, I guess. Um, well, some might think it's it. it it's almost like a different world from manga, honestly, because most of the time they focus on more realistic stuff. And, um, you know, 
artsy stuff. I mean, manga is artsy in its own way, in a you know Asian Japanese kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah. just when I'm in it, like the art programming, everything is is very uh, well. Uh, what's the word? Maybe versatile. I don't know what to say, but it's there's a lot to it. You know, it's not just. You know, it doesn't really help in sequential art. It's not really focusing mm -hmm. on comics. The things I learn about comics are honestly the things I learned by myself online with research, YouTube, DeviantArt, and people like you. You know, we come communicate and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, that's that's that. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm studying: fine arts. I'm a fine art major and a computer science minor. Okay. So, do you think the fine art uh, major actually is helping with your like manga? project at all or in any way or is in it some, in, well in some ways yeah uh, you know there was um, you know it, it'll teach new techniques right like right now I'm trying to learn how to uh, work with uh, watercolors better oh, I'm nice. not I'm not hundred percent hor horrible but you know <laughs> it'll, you know if I have someone guiding me it'll probably get better you know what I'm saying yeah and you know, you know bring it into my skill set you know right now I'm just working on copic markers and there's those are straightforward because your markers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. Um, if I could learn watercolors, that'd be pretty cool. You know, that's just that's just one side to it. There are other things, you know, uh, learning more digital stuff, uh, more traditional traditional stuff, and uh, even 3D art. Not 3D in like uh, like what I said earlier about Blender and Maya and stuff like that. Those 3D softwares, but like 3D, like wood, working with wood, clay, and stuff. Oh, like right. that. Oh wow! Okay, I guess it's good, like inspiration, just sort of yeah, yeah. being able to see like other artists and stuff and what they've been up to. Cool, right? Uh, I'm trying to find this link uh, for um, this video so we can see the people's comments. So at the moment, people watching, I, I can't see, uh, I can't find this link. It's just so awkward how they do it. It's a bit annoying. But um, so if you are, keep keep asking like questions and stuff, and I'll get to that soon. Um, but yeah, so what, what, what kind of plans, like after you finished Apple Black, the the chapter, what what then? That is that I get that question a lot, and <laughs> it, it's it's not straightforward. You know, it's, you can't right now at the moment. I'm just focusing on finishing the first chapter and having it as best as I can. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like a pilot. You know, just something that it'll be free for everybody. I, I think it, it it would make sense for it to be free. You know, just the first chapter alone. It's not a volume. It's not like a volume with like eight chapters or nine chapters or something like that. It's just one chapter. Uh, it'll make sense for it to be free. I guess if I was going to sell it, then I don't know. That won't make sense. Um, the plans I have would be to when it's done, I tend to. Con maybe con uh, some companies, and if there are any contests available, I send it to the uh, you know send I submit to the contest as well and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'll send to some uh, companies uh, companies that uh, accept submissions and wait for feedback. And if I don't get feedback, the plan is to make a website, a website for white manga as a whole. Then and uh, like Apple Black would be like a sub website in in the website. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. And, you know, in case I work on something else, so it's it, it'll just be a white manga website, and there'll be like Apple Black stuff on there, where people will be able to read the first chapter, maybe buy a couple. Uh, thinking of selling T-shirts or sweaters, uh, posters, you know, some just cool stuff and features and character behind the scene pictures and stuff like that. Maybe um, you know, just extra stuff yeah. for Apple Black. And it'll, it, that's what I want a website just for that. Well, a website for white manga and you know Apple Black. And in case I work on any, work on any other thing, that will be in there as well. So the plan would be to do that. Try get the word out there as much as I can. You know, get people to get reviews. You know, people that actually review manga chapters on YouTube. If I can yeah. get them to review. You know, honest, an honest review, actually. You know what I'm saying? I want like yeah, a clean, yeah. uh, a clean, uh, clean criticism. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. to be compared to uh, the professionals out there. And you know, everybody will know that I'm, I'm just like everybody else. You know, on YouTube, and hopefully that inspires, uh, inspires others. But mainly to get the word out there, sell T-shirts, 
uh, the manga will be free on free if I don't hear it from companies. Um, and those kind of stuff. But you see, I can't really answer that question because if, let's say, a company takes it, then everything changes. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes some companies, they allow you to keep the rights. Sometimes they don't. It, every company has their own guidelines and set of rules and the way they operate. So if A happens, B might, you know, that's the end of B. Or if A happens, then another plan has to come up. Or, you know, I can't see the future. Yeah. So right now, all I'm focusing on is getting it to be as sick as possible. <laughs> and so far, it's sick, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's pretty, I, I don't know. I think, I think out, of all the thing, out of all the things I've done, this is definitely, definitely the best. Definitely, wow. Candid, it, it shits on Candle Jack. It shits on, <laughs> shits on Top Hat. It's, it's at least artistically. I mean, Top Hat. I'm not the writer of Top Hat, obviously. So maybe yeah. I might be sounding a little biased, but uh, I'm not biased. It, it shit on everything I've done. Everything <laughs> I've done in the past. And the thing that people don't know is, I actually did. If if people followed me, years like uh, like two years ago. It wasn't apple black, it was strawberry black. Mm -hmm. And I actually attempted starting it. That was actually the first manga I did. And it was shit, it was crap. Because <laughs> I was a noob, I was a novice, man. I didn't, I didn't know how to do anything, really. I think I was inking with freaking, freaking ballpoint pens. <laughs> and it was just, I was lettering by hand. I didn't have my studio. I can use any software. I wasn't even... I don't think I was even on YouTube that time, and it was just crap. And I remember submitting to a company, and now that I think back, I can imagine what they did to it. Like, <laughs> it immediately it was rubbish. And um, I attempted it again, and instead of starting from scratch, I just continued. Just a, it, it was a little better, but it was still crap. It was so crap that Apple Black, uh, not Apple Black, Candle Jack shits on that. And wow. Candle Jack wasn't bad. I think every time I go back to read Candle Jack, it was it was a fun read, but you can definitely see the problems with it. You know what I'm saying? Story wise yeah. and art wise. Maybe I had too many face shots, not enough background, so people don't really get the sense of where they are, uh, where the characters are. The story had a shit ton of loopholes. Um and you know, it's good. I, I see it as, you know, it helped me improve. You know, to catch all those problems and make sure they don't repeat themselves. And doing Top Hat as well helped me improve because, you know, time as time goes on, I'm... Because I'm not just inspired by manga. I'm, um, I'm inspired by uh, movies, music videos, music, you know, mm. um, experiences, cultures, history. The manga is... The thing, when people see Apple Black and people see, not just me, but other uh, artists on DeviantArt or YouTube, they automatically get the sense that, okay, this is going to be another typical, you know, typical shonen manga or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. But I'm sure every artist has something that makes their stuff unique, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Apple Black has a lot of stuff that I haven't said. Like, literally, nobody knows what it's about, kind of. They just know the characters, but no one knows what's going on. I haven't released the plot. It, no, one knows, no one knows Jack, you know what I'm saying? But they would still have the sense that, all right, this is going to be a typical uh, shonen manga where you, you get what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Everything is predictable in some way. And yeah. in some ways, I think that's a good thing, so that when they read it, you know, I shock them. <laughs> this is going to be... Yeah, I, 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 like, maybe I'm biased because I'm the artist and I'm the writer, but I think it's pretty good, and it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anything I know. Art-wise, art wow. obviously, there's still places I know I lack and uh, places I know that I, I should improve, and, I mean, there's still room for improvement art-wise and writing-wise, but I think I have come a long way 
since I did that first crappy strawberry back. <laughs> it was it was really bad, you know. What I'm saying if I, I I've been thinking about uploading it, but I feel like people think that that's how I am right now and just brush me aside, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> maybe yeah. after, maybe like later, later along the lines, I released it so people can laugh at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, so do you think would you um, sort of uh, do you think you're like your biggest critic or your best hype man? Do you do you sort of hype yourself up or do you like both? Both. I am both. Uh, all right, that's good. <laughs> because I I look at I look at uh, the previous stuff I've done, and uh, sometimes I get real really 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 pissed. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's really bad. You know. And sometimes I see, it and it's like ridiculously good. So, and that's my fear for Apple Black. Maybe I, it's happening again, because the time I did Candle Jack, I was like, "Oh man, this is the shit." But <laughs> after I released it and looked at it again, that was not the case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I honestly think that you know this is it, because now I'm not the only one who's seen this. I, yeah. I've shown people who don't even read manga, and they think it's pretty good. Like, I mean, obviously the fact that they don't read manga as well is not really a good sign. Maybe they're not good critic, good critics, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's, um, they watch other stuff like uh, Korra, Air Airbender, you know, Avatar, and stuff like that. And they feel, they, they, I know a couple people who feel like the story is just as good or even better because I actually told them the whole story. And that took a while. Jesus. <laughs> but so, I told, yeah, I told them the whole story. Not that I know all not that I know the whole story word for word, but you know, the basic outline. Yeah. And what happens and what's about and what I was thinking and why I did this and why the characters like this and why why this happened and stuff like that. And I thought it was great. Oh well uh, that's, that's obviously so hopefully, <laughs> good motivation. Yeah, hopefully, you know. I'm not making the same thing. Okay, so do you know how long Apple Black could be if if it went? Let's say you got picked up by a company. Do you know like roughly how many chapters? Uh, I thought about it, and it's um. Any time I think about it, I'm afraid because I'm thinking like it could go on for like 500 or 600 chapters. Oh wow! Right, so it's a proper like. Is, would you would you call it like shonen manga? Is is it a shonen manga? I would call it. Yeah, the style that I'm going for is shonen, so I guess it, it would classify as a shonen manga. Yeah. Right. Okay. So is it, it like that kind of length is kind of typical for something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Naruto or One Piece or something. That that would be pretty cool. Is there anything? Do you know if anything's um, out in America that's like that, or would you are you sort of approaching American? Or would you ever consider going to Japan? Like. Um, I also thought about that, you know, but I actually don't want to go to Japan. <laughs> I don't want to go to Japan. It's, uh, I mean, maybe my I might change my mind later on, and maybe I'll go to Japan with a whole new manga. Because as some of you know, I have, you know, other things up my sleeve that I haven't shown, <laughs> and I haven't shown really because they're not as developed. That was one of the problems with Candle Jack. It wasn't really developed. I just rushed it in a month. And just threw it out there, and it flopped in a way. Um, although some people like it, some people still like it, which, which is pretty cool. And I'm like, if you like that, then you probably really like this. <laughs> Anyways, um, going to Japan, there's so many, you know, obstacles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, the language, uh, not just the language, the culture, and you know, their traditions and the way they do things. Um, Work visa, this, that. Mm. There, there, I don't want to go into that, but there are a lot of things that people probably don't think about before they go, especially for someone like me who's actually, I'm not even, I'm not American, I'm Nigerian. You know what I'm saying? All so right. even, even being in America is has its obstacles. So <laughs> Japan, that's a different ballgame. That is a different ballgame. But maybe later in the future, something might come up where I would change my mind. But for right now, going to Japan is, uh, it, it's not on the list yet. Right, that's fair enough. Well, I guess if you've got, you've got like, uh, the, the industry over in America is good enough, really, isn't it? So if yeah. you can get into that, then you're, you're sorted. 
more or less. <laughs> it's probably easier said than done, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's All pretty right. tough here, especially for uh, you know, at least for Japan, it's tough for anybody that's international. And oh. here, it's tough for everybody basically to break into any industry, whether it be the animation industry, the comic in the comic industry, manga, everything. Everything is hard because. Honestly, really, there are so many talented guys out there that people don't even know. They're just <laughs> beasts behind the scenes, you know, be like lurking in the darkness and you're monsters. I've seen so many sick artists on DeviantArt. It's ridiculous. I mean, to get yeah. me, get me depressed about my art skill, that's like, I've seen like so many guys and, you know, it, it's at the same time, it's a good, it's, it's good motivation for me. Because uh, I fave a lot of their artwork and it inspires me in some way and try, uh, helps me improve. And that's one of the ways I improve. I, if I see someone better, I try to be better than that person. Yeah. Or at least to that level. Or try to approach things the way that person would with my own twist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. just, and that's, that's art. I do that art wise and when I'm writing. Mm. Yeah, I've got a similar thing on, on DeviantArt. I've got like a list of like photos. Yeah, I've seen blah, your blah. list. Yeah, like, targets. Seen your targets. List. <laughs> yeah, you're on it. You're on it, man. So, <laughs> so yeah, similar concept. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, DeviantArt is just filled with just crazy, crazy good people. Right? It, yeah. it doesn't make sense. It's just there's so so much talent out there. Sometimes, but, I, I, man, so de yeah. detailed. I've seen like some really, really detailed backgrounds and. I can't draw a building without screaming sometimes. You know? <laughs> but those are one of the things that I knew I knew I had problems with going into this manga, you know what I'm saying? So mm. like I made sure I, I did my best to make sure that this Apple Black is gonna look as professional as possible. So I took my time with the backgrounds, I took my time with the characters, I took my time with the writing, like and, and the dialogue. The dialogue was a real it's a real, and it's something that will keep changing as I'm editing. If I read it again and I'm like, no, nah, that doesn't sound right, and I, I switch it, I change it again. So it's a process, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I, I feel like I've improved a lot in my writing. Um, but I know that I'm still improving. You know, I'm not like there yet, but I'm still improving. And I know, because personally, I know the whole outline of the story, I know how strong it is. So little things like dialogue and all those things have to be on point so that when I pr present at Black, you know, it's going to be as good as I think it is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I, can't, I still can't get that link for the YouTube comments, but I've got some comments, some questions from my Facebook. So people watching, if you, uh, at the moment I can't get the YouTube link, so I can't see the comments if you're making comments. Uh, so it might be easier if you go onto my Facebook and comment there. I'll be able to ask White Manga some uh, questions. But there's a question from Kazu Anna Curry, uh, who says, I can't help but to be amazed by your skills. Uh, when did you take drawing seriously? So I guess I guess maybe in another way of putting it, it's like when did you think you could make it? At what point? Um, you know, when I was younger, I used to draw a lot of normal, you know, regular uh, Western style comics with uh, Spider-Man, uh, Daredevil, X-Men, and I was really big into the, the normal comics, but I never, I mean, I, and I had my own original ideas of comics, but I, I wasn't really too, I wasn't, how would I put it, motivated to, you know, try and make my own, mm -hmm. but I think I felt like I had enough skill to pull this off after I read Bleach. I read Bleach, I watched uh, Roroni Kenshin, um, then I saw and I read, read Naruto, and I just started watching and reading more manga and in, in I knew like I, I could always draw since like uh, since I since I don't know like I've been drawing for a long while, a, a long time, like for 13 years. But only in the last, the last three years, that I felt that I, I could pull this off because I started drawing a lot of bleach. I think that was one of the problems I had when I first started. Because if you follow me, 
when I first started off, everybody was calling me, you know, the bleach guy. You know, all my, all my, you know, the art style was bleach, and it was not like I had like a bleach drawing here, and I was drawing the same thing. I was drawing. Just, I was just drawing mock because I thought I was so much of a new. And I thought everything was everything was the same. It didn't really matter if it looked the same way, or I just drew it, and it was you know it was very very bleach inspired. So mm. with time, you know, I started improving the skill, and you know, trying to hold my own style. After I did some research and saw you know the importance of having your own signature, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. And even till now, you still see the bleach bleach uh, influences, yeah. but I feel now. It's, it's not, it's not as, as what's the, how would I put this? It's not like before. It's way better. It's more. It has, if someone sees it, they can call my name instead yeah. of, you know, Kubo's, you know, mm. that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so when I read manga, and I knew I had my own story, and I knew how strong this. I mean, when I first had the story, the story wasn't as strong. The thing is, as when I when I improve my writing, let me break this down, right? <laughs> Here's how. I, let me give an example. If I wanted to make a manga about going to class, right? I could take that and make it interesting, and maybe it could be about. Then I start developing it. I start, you know putting some things like what if this happens, what if that happens, and if it works for me, I keep it. And that's how Apple Black started, you know, very simple, and it just kept developing, and I had so many good ideas, the, the ideas just kept getting better and better, and sometimes I might have a good idea, and later on, I have a better one, and it kills off the previous one, and it the story has grown so much into 600 chapters, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's really good, but back to the example, Let's say okay, goes to school. I, um, what if he's what if he's late, right? Let's say he's late, and so he's he's um hurrying to school, maybe to class, and he's maybe rambling on about how if he's late to class, uh, if the how important the class is, right? And maybe he says something about a she and how she be mad at, at him, and I can skip to the class and show the teacher probably calling calling roll and missing, you know, calling people's names and stuff like that. And basically I can have a story where people think he's rushing to the class and thinking, oh, he's supposed to be in that class and that class is important. And at the end, I could throw a twist where he's not even supposed to be in the class and the only reason he's going to the class is because of maybe a girl he likes. Right. And they they will know that until, until say, the last two pages, and that's like a twist. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. maybe call the rule. It, what I'm, well, basically, what I'm saying is to take a story. The way I work is I take a, a little story and I keep building on it until I feel it's strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know. And that's what I do with the Apple Black story, and that's how the Apple Black story has grown and is still growing because you know I'm still so many chapters away things can still change things can still you know I can still get better ideas or scrap out some other ideas that I feel are not as that are not good enough um, but when I felt that I had a good outline and I knew my my art skill was good enough to improve to be at the same level of the pros or even better that's when I got serious with it and I really want the, what the real the. I think my biggest motivation is, is um, wanting to is is trying to get the story out the story out there. I know the story is strong, and I want people to like. My life will be so incomplete if people do not know this story. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Yeah. So I think that's the biggest motivation, and I felt. You know. That's when I want to do it. Yeah, that's that, when I felt. Yeah, like, yeah, that's when I felt like I could go toe to toe with these with these guys. Not, <laughs> not right now. I still have a long way to go, but that was the real push. The story. I felt like I love the story so much because I mean you have to love what you do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I love the story so much, and I love drawing 
and I knew I wanted to get the story out there. That was it. That was it for me. That was enough yeah. for me. To, that was enough for me. Okay, that's awesome. Right. Okay. Good news. I found the comments. <laughs> it was very, very confusing. Uh, but yeah, so we've got some I've, I've, guys. I've found the comments. So if you've got comments and questions, please, please um, uh, post them. Uh, we've got some someone shouting out to Nigerians. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Liberation Comic Eleven wants to know what's up with Gerland, which is another. Um, it's one of your hidden comics. Um, Gerland is a, is a story inspired by Gettysburg, and I came up with this in history class. Uh, Gettysburg is the whole you know, war, American history war with all the Confederates and blah blah about slavery and with the. Uh, you know, Abraham Lincoln freeing the slaves and all that. And the character Gerland was inspired by Ulysses Grant and um, the history, his history. And basically that's it. Like I said, those stories, they're not inspired. They're not, uh, not, not they're inspired, sorry, but they're not developed enough for me to, you know, spill out beats about them. But that's the basic mm -hmm. idea. There, it's it's inspired by uh, Gettysburg, and the, the 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 characters on the characters there are inspired by real life characters that had something to do with the wars, with the Confederate War, the Civil War, and you know Gettys the um, battles like the Battle of Gettysburg and other battles. And the story will continue. I mean, I can have like, you know how uh, Bleach has like. Uh, or Naruto has like the Akatsuki kind of thing. I could throw yeah. something in there like the KKK, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah. that's like later on where Grant gets, uh, he becomes, I think something like president or something. But Grant, um, Gerland is very, um, very underdeveloped. Right now, all my uh, artistic efforts are on Apple Black. So, yeah. you know, I'm not really, that's basically, I think I've told him enough. You know what I'm saying? I have like yeah. Gerland, the uh, Sleepwalker, um, uh, Ghost Point. Uh, if you follow the the White Maga tournament for 2000 and, uh, for last year, you, you'd probably have an idea what uh, Ghost Point's about, and maybe the Candlejack reboot, and you know some other stuff. But they're on, right now they're underdeveloped. Maybe one day when uh, Apple Black is over, we'll get back to them. <laughs> wow, I could take a while there with like 600 chapters of Apple Black. <laughs> so yeah, um, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I guess like you've always got ideas on the back burner, haven't you? Just like a, as you said, you need like Plan B, Plan C, because you know the company may say, "Hey, I kind of liked Apple Black, but I want to see what else you've got," or something like that. I don't know. But uh, you but, see, um, the, another, the, funny thing, huh? the funny thing is, if if a company doesn't like Apple Black and <laughs> I have to do it independently. I will still do it independently before I do any other thing. Yeah. Do you think you uh have you got any plans of going to like conventions? Because I know you can like do pretty. I'm sure you. I mean, I've seen artists there that have just like started out. They're in an artist alley, and people are buying stuff from them. They've obviously only been drawing for like you know half a year or something. Do, do you have any plans of going to you know, other conventions in Texas or Austin or wherever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I, I haven't gone for any yet. But uh, the next time I have a chance to go for one of those, I would be there. Yeah, and I'll probably be there with some Apple Black stuff, and maybe that will be the period where the first chapter will be done and the website will be up and running, hopefully. And I'll probably be giving out free T-shirts and stuff like that, you know, just promotional stuff. I mean, if you know me, you know that I shamelessly promote myself, like, all the time. So that would be – that's that's I think that's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, okay, so – uh, Liberation Comic Eleven uh, asks another good question here. He wants to know how much of like the Nigerian culture have you integrated into the Apple Black world, um, if at all? No, oh, yeah, I have. Um, there are there. I haven't shown any black. I haven't. Sh I haven't really shown any black characters in in Apple Black. Um, that's because. If you, I, I think I've had a video where I talked about the setting a little bit and it showed like the maps and everything. Most mm. of the black characters they're like in a tribe, and that tribe is in in like um, 
another country entirely. There will be right. there are, there are parts of the story where there are some young characters and they meet uh, the Apple Black characters, the, the main the main six characters in uh, uh, Black Bottom Island, and that's where they that's where all the that's where the main characters are in in the story and in the whole continent, the whole Eden continent kind of thing. And it's almost going to be how you know how there's the um, the Sano, Ryuzaki, Osamu, and all that. They're in. They have they have their own cliques, right? There's going to be like a clique right. in there's different. You know, every country has their own little gang, if you will. You know what I'm saying? And there'll be there is there is something that happens. I'm not going to say it, but there are things that happen where <laughs> they're all involved. And it's not like every country they're all black. It's it, it's the um, even is the whole the setting is inspired by the cultures and traditions that I have experienced with or that I just know or have read about. So it's not just Japanese inspired. I can throw in a, a couple German things there, Mexican things. You know, makes makes people feel more, you know, at home when you're reading it. I don't know if that makes sense. I also do something like that with religion. And so those, like, I have some things that people don't even, you, like, before I said it now, you probably didn't have that, I, you know, and, um, you probably didn't know that I was going to do something like that, maybe play with religion a little bit. Um, but for the Nigerian thing, there's, like, a tribe in the country. The country also has other tribes inspired by maybe Mexico, German, uh, German history, or, you know, Spanish, or whatever. But the tribe, there's a tribe that's inspired by um, Nigerian things, and they would have, you know, Nigerian names and stuff like that. Huh. And still, some really cool fighting stuff. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. So uh, we've got a another question from XX Nutella Ice Cream XX, loving the username. Uh, wants to know what is your favorite anime and favorite manga. Um. Favorite anime? Let me see. That's that's I, I I don't know how to answer that question. There's so many good ones, <laughs> but I'd say you know since Bleach was actually the one that put me in this, before I started seeing all the other cool ones, I'll go with Bleach. And uh, for manga, I go with uh, Vagabond. Vagabond, uh, the artwork is just mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, I've I've noticed actually. I think I think you said it and uh, before. Uh, previously, or you've talked about uh, Vagabond before, but obviously, you know, you had a very sort of Kubo orientated style, and you can sort of see Takahiro Inoue style sort of integrated in there as well. Like especially with uh, your work with like the ink, like the the thing in the background um, is kind of like, like slightly more like you know in, in, like uh, you, you know what I mean like you've got like yeah, I think yeah, I can yeah. see I can see influences from from that. In, in your work. Yeah, this, uh, um, I mean, I read uh, I read the um, Vagabond and I read the whole 300 chapters in a like I, I'm not, I don't think it stopped at 300. I think more are coming out. Normally the the Inoue probably goes on some kind of hiatus sometimes, but <laughs> I've read over 300 chapters and the artwork is man, I don't know how there's some things they do there and I'm like, how do you do this with ink? That doesn't make any sense, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah. I actually, um, confession, I haven't actually read Vagabond, but I did buy the first one, the Visbig one. So I've got, I've, I'm, I've got my reading ready. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's that, good. that's that, that's on hold. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into that. Uh, Shingu Amito uh, wants to know whether you created the world you wanted to make first for Apple Black, or did you create the characters first? So, like, what came first? I um. In case he's asking so that maybe it'll help him, I think he can go both ways. But me, personally, I made the characters first. Right. I, did, I did the characters first, but I wanted to create a world where everything could go in. The world itself is very original, kind of like uh, how um, Oda does his stuff. Like some really, really cool, original extremely original and diverse, you know, kind of character designs and background designs and all that. But at the same time, you know, I have my own twist and I'm, in, I'm incorporating, 
you know, traditions and traditions that traditions and cultures that you know I know, or traditions and cultures that I am somewhat familiar with. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Flying so Ventus every, wants a shout out. So shout out to Flying Ventus. Don't know why. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, Shin. We get, we're getting quite a lot of comments in. This is good. Keep them coming, guys. And uh, remember to like the video so more people can come in. Um, let me see this question. Talia Mamain asks, uh, as you've clearly come far in being a manga artist, who are some people you would like to thank? I don't know if I can ask a question from her. Yeah, yeah, we got your question. Thank. Oh, I guess that's up to you. Um, <laughs> uh, are there any other? Um, when I. I think, like I already told you, I already talked about how I started, how, you know, a little bit of how I started, but how I go, I think coming into YouTube and entering contests that, you know, contests are, are also another good thing. They really help improve your work when you're going against someone and you have, like, an idea of what that person's going to do and you know you have to top it or that person throws in something. Yeah, you, you've been a contest, so you, you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a real motivator. And when they're, you know, the result videos all pumped up, everybody's, you know, everybody's hyped. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I, I feel it helped improve my work because if I felt someone was good, I had to be better. And if there was, like, another round, maybe they beat me in the previous round or something like that, maybe they <laughs> were higher in the rank. You, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, yeah, but getting yeah. into I've YouTube, still got, I've still got a grudge against Navy Blue Manga. He knocked me out your tournament. I was, mate, I'm yeah. gonna get it back one day. <laughs> yeah. So, um, going into YouTube, I think one of the biggest inspirations for me to end, uh, come into YouTube was uh, Mark Crilly, and um, that was kind of obvious because uh, you know he has some really cool tutorials and he has his own manga. And he has, you know. He's an American too, and he uh, uses microns like me. So you know, there was a lot that I could relate to with that. And then there was Rona Project, R.I.P. Anthony. But uh, I watched a couple uh, of videos and tutorials of the, you know, of Ryan talking about Rona and um, Anthony having some tutorial videos mm -hmm. and the blue lead and you know, etc. And yeah, they were good, good motivators for me to come into YouTube because I feel like if I wasn't on YouTube, honestly, at first, I don't think I would be as good as at least I think as good as I think I am right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because I think I learned a lot just being on YouTube and seeing other guys do their own stuff and meeting new people and learning from them. Uh, Cartoon Block too. Um, that's a good inspiration, and and obviously the pros who actually do it. Mm. I mean, Mark Crilly and Evan, they're pros too. But I'm talking about you know pros that that are making manga and comics out there. You know, like Jim Lee making some Western style comics. Um, uh, Kubo Oda. Uh, what was the Naruto guy's name again? Uh, Kishimoto. Yeah, Kishimoto, um, et cetera, you know. But, yeah, I guess I give shout-outs mainly to the people who put me on YouTube, uh, motivated, yeah. me, motivated me to get on YouTube, uh, Brian Man, Rona, Mark Crilly, Evan, uh, et cetera. Yeah. Hmm. So thanks for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, that reminds it's funny me. Though, like, this, yeah. this is a funny story, actually. Funny story. When I first came on YouTube, and uh, I was white manga, right? There was this, there was this channel. There was this channel called Mark Crilly is Gay. <laughs> Mark Crilly is Gay, right? And he just, they sent, he sent me, um, he sent me a friend request, uh, you know, or something. I don't know what YouTube used to call it back then. It was friends, right? It, back then, YouTube mm. did friends, not contacts. And I didn't really care. I always liked everything or added everything, accepted everything. And Navy Blue. Mm thought I was a troll and <laughs> so it was almost like my channel for that period was like a troll channel and nobody was on the channel and everybody thought I was hating on Mark Kelly and stuff like that and I, I thought it was I thought it was hilarious back then I'm sure he, if he's <laughs> watching right now he remember because uh, the, we, we've even talked about it because he, he was like he commented on the channel was like saying some stuff I don't know 
But back then, I had like six <laughs> six subscribers, so you can say whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, no, that that guy's my arch enemy. I swear. <laughs> yeah. but, <laughs> no, but I actually um, that reminds me that I should I actually should uh, thank you because uh, my first uh, video was uh, my contest entry into your I think it was two thousand ten or two thousand eleven no two two thousand eleven uh, contest. And, like I joined that. That was the first uh, video I did, and I was like, ah. YouTube's actually got a pretty sweet community, so yeah. Yeah, I remember you. You were mainly on DeviantArt. Yeah. Yeah, you were mainly on DeviantArt. You probably when you probably weren't getting as much. You probably weren't interacting with the community as much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the that was one of the good things about the the whole contest. You know, to meet new people and start talking. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was a very very good. YouTube's awesome for for that thing. The community, so is, like, especially soft. with this this hangout. Huh? <laughs> Sweetie uh, socks? No, this community's <laughs> alright. Like <laughs> this community sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know um, Royal Crown? Royal Crown is that? I mean, obviously Royal Crown is Neocean, right? You didn't He's know. What? He's Neocean. Neocean. Like Neocean, Royal Crown is Neocean, right? Now, if you if you go back to White Monger, the White Monger tournament from last year, right? Yeah. Neocean, there was a Neocean entered, and Royal Crown entered. They both got into the oh. top sixteen, but they were the same person. That's oh why <laughs> when Royal Crown couldn't enter, Neocean couldn't enter. <laughs> I think that uh, Royal oh Crown, God. Royal Crown had a problem with. Um, I think uh, he had a problem with his computer, and they stole stuff. Uh, unfortunately, but he made a mistake. When when Royal Crown could enter, I asked, I sent a message to Neocean saying, um, I sent a message to Neocean saying, oh, you know, because that was like the deadline was coming up, and I, I asked him, I asked him, uh, so are you still are you, are you still going to enter? You know, like are you going to go forward since you're in the top sixteen? And Royal Crown maybe he didn't know he was on his Royal Crown account, and he <laughs> sent me a message saying, nah, some 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 this that that this. I deleted it immediately, but I always read <laughs> things like real quick, and I caught him. He not deleted it, then said the same thing as in the ocean. But it was too late. Uh, I got him. No need. He got exposed now. Everyone <laughs> yeah, knows now. In the ocean, you've been called out. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. That's funny. I, I was wondering. Uh, the Royal Clown hasn't been very active, so I was like, "Well, what's happened to him? Maybe he's got stuff on the ocean or something." Yeah, <laughs> that's that's funny, right? Uh, yeah. So, so looking at some more comments. Thanks for all the comments, guys. This is awesome. There's loads coming in. Uh, I'll actually send you the link as well, so you can um, uh, so you can have a look at the. I'm just placing them in there. Um. Okay, so people are saying, "Man, this is awesome." People are enjoying this. That's good. 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 Uh, right, 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 right. How do you arrange? Uh, someone wants to know uh, how is your social life? Basically, asking how how do you arrange your timing between college and manga, which you kind of already spoken about earlier on. But uh, yeah, he says, is your social time fainting? <laughs> um, there have been times where everybody will be out partying and I will be in here inking, <laughs> which is sad, but I don't regret it because. You know, I love I love drawing and I love the manga. I want to get it out there and I have, you know, deadlines and other things to do. But I think my social life is pretty cool. I I, go, <laughs> I still go out. Uh, I think I, I went out, I went out uh, I was at the club yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So everything's cool. <laughs> it's fine. I'm still enjoying college. Uh, I'm still going yeah. to be done enjoying college. Uh, I'm still studying. Still meeting babe. Get some hot babies <laughs> around them. So, <laughs> yeah, catch them. Especially I get enough of nothing. Especially I get enough of nothing. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, to answer the question, to answer the question, um, yeah, my my social life is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that that's good to hear. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure people are very happy to hear that you're still getting out and about, not like some crazy person just staying inside. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> The, um, like a uh, back of land. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this uh, I know. Uh, I had a video one time, and I uploaded the video, 
and I think I had like two PlayStation 3s on the floor. <laughs> and, and people were like, uh, you know, asking me, you know, do I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just in my room, play video games. <laughs> also, video games are also a good inspiration as well. Uh, but that's a different yeah. thing. I, I just, I, I, I bought the DMC, Devil May Cry. And I actually just, oh, yeah. I, beat, I just beat the game. It's actually a pretty good game, but I don't even want to go into that. That's like a whole video entirely <laughs> to talk about. But, um, yeah. yeah, I can also get inspiration from, you know, video games. Video games are, what I want to say is basically video games are part of it as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I have a problem with, like, the social life aspects of things. I think I get distracted so much. I remember one time doing a, a live stream like this, I was just drunk and I was just like, no, I'm just trying to stay awake. I was like concentrating so much; it was pretty embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we got some other questions coming in. Um, someone wants to know. I've, I've, I think a couple of people have asked, like, how do you, how do you practice, or how do you, yeah, how do I What's practice? The process of yeah, practice and getting better and improving. Like, I mean, you've mentioned contests, but um, when I see. When I see something that I know I have problems with, maybe I, if I see a drawing, maybe I see some sick dick who can draw way better at the moment, and he's drawing something real sick on DeviantArt, and I know that I'm not too good maybe drawing that thing, it's that angle. I draw the same thing, and probably draw, draw, it, in, draw, it, my, draw it my way, probably draw the same pose and the same camera, um, the same camera angle, you know, in my way, and you know, keep practicing it. And once I've, if I do it once, I have it. That's it. Like reading Vagabond, there are lots of drawings in there, and lots of ways that, in no way, did things that I just practiced them. I did them like once or twice, and try to do them in my my own way, and try to have the same uh, the same result as he did, whether I do it traditionally or digitally. And once I do it once. I have it in the bag. Obviously, maybe not, maybe not once. A couple times. Maybe I have to do it a couple times. It depends. It depends on what it is. Maybe it could be a, the way he, the way he draws a hand in an angle, and maybe I have trouble drawing something like that. I'm just giving an example. That right? Um, and so yeah, basically, I just draw what I see until I can draw it without seeing it. Mm. That's like Sorry. one line. Yeah. Awesome. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Diabolical Wolf Six wants to know if uh, does anyone in Apple Black have the power to transform uh, like Yuri? What transform like Yuri? Yeah, apparently think... maybe maybe like Yuri is in. Does is Yuri able to transform? I think he's asking. Or oh 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 um, not that I know of. <laughs> not yet. No. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, could be yeah, added yeah. in. But did you just have like a story know. idea? Like, huh? No, I can yeah. add that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a. There's another. There's another thing. Um, when I first started, I thought everything had to be Japanese. I was just mm. obsessed that you know everything had to be Japanese. They had to have Japanese names. It had to be you know, and that was so wrong. You know, mm. manga can be anything. It could be anywhere. It could be about any you know, any culture or anything, you know what I'm saying? Manga itself is just this style that inspired from the ancient Japanese culture and stuff like that. Manga is basically comics, you know? The only reason yeah. it's in black and white is for probably uh, printing purposes, and the only reason it's read from uh, right to left instead of uh, left to right is because, you know, it's Japan, and that's how, you know, some of their uh, text is read. It's read from... Um, right to left. That's why Apple Black is actually read from left to right. You know, I'm not Japanese, but I can still draw manga, and that's the thing that you know gets people confused in some arguments. Like, oh, you have to be Japanese to make manga. Not really, no. You know what I'm saying? Manga is just the style, and that's what I'm using for Apple Black. But Apple Black is is really a comic. But comic manga is the same thing. It's just you know. Um, it's just done in the traditional traditional style, except you know the toning is digital. But at the end of the day, everything's going to be scanned in because you have to put in the text. So 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jazz0114 wants to know, what is your favorite video game, since you mentioned DMC? DMC. Is it? Is it your favorite? Not... Is that I just because... Is that... <laughs> the franchise, the franchise Devil May Cry is my favorite. That's my favorite game. It's always been my favorite ah, right, game. Okay. So I don't really buy, I don't really buy too many video games, but, you know, because I've always been a Devil May Cry fan, I just have to get it. I also like FIFA. So if people want to get my uh, get my you know a username or something, you want me to school you? I will school you, noobs. So <laughs> if you want that, I'll have me. Do. I'll have me in school, bitches. <laughs> so what what team do you support? Madrid, Real Madrid. Madrid. Oh right, okay. <laughs> like. Richest, richest football club in the world. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm not, some, I'm people, not. some people out there probably think I'm a Madrid fan because of Ronaldo or something like that, but I'm actually a David Beckham fan. Ah, uh, good, good. I, I'm a fan of David Beckham as well, but um, I'm a Arsenal. I'm an Arsenal supporter. I'm a Gooner. Arsenal. Yeah, oh, well, it's, it's like my, it's You're like huh? six, right? Yeah, I know. It's bad, oh, bad year. <laughs> Yeah, but they're my local club. I, you know, I live, <laughs> live in London, so I've got to support my local club. Oh, man. <laughs> You're, like, forced to support that team. If I were you, no. I would go to, I don't know, Man City. You know the funny no thing way, about Man no. City? You know, where, where I'm from, you know, the thing about Man City, nobody was a Man City fan until, last, until like, I don't know, like three years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because they, they won, what, they won uh, the Premier League last year, and they've got, like, so much money. They've just been bought yeah. out by some like oil owner or something. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, they 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 like yeah. buying Arsenal players. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Though, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Nazri! I, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we went off on a bit of a tangent there, but um, okay. Uh, Shingu Amito with another question: What is the biggest challenge you faced during your creation of Apple Black? <laughs> it's like you're thinking because there's a few. <laughs> I say the obstacles. That's I guess college and so many other things in my personal life that have gotten in the way of you know making the pages that quick. Because if I had all my shit together, the this manga would probably already be out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's just out that those are problems that those are problems that have nothing to do with the manga. But when it comes to problems that have to do with the manga, I guess, you know me trying to be maybe a perfectionist, so that also slows me down a little bit. And you know, trying to make sure everything is right, keep just working on writing and stuff like that basically. Mm. Do you do you ever like uh finish a page, look at it and go Man, I'm gonna just redo that. Have you ever re just redone a page, or is it um, is it usually? Um, I always I always see it in the storyboard format first, right? Mm -hmm. And when I see it in the storyboard format, I know, and it looks like crap. Then I do it in the storyboard format. So if mm -hmm. I erase a storyboard, it doesn't really hurt me that much because they're really small, you know, smallish. If I if I erase a name, it's 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 really small. I don't really care. But like a page. If I see it, if I know it, if if, it, if it's gonna be crap, I would see it before it's completely crap. Maybe it's still in the pencils, yeah. and I would erase it and change something or something. So I've never right. actually finished a page and been like, no. Before I finish it, I would have changed some things. Mm. I guess I guess if you're gonna do a candle candle jack reboot, then that that's somewhat similar, uh, like. Kind of re trying to redo it. Oh, are you actually going to do that? That's the thing. Because I know, it, like, it's, yeah, it's, cause obviously it's the it's... wrong way. It's the way. It's if I do yeah, it, yeah. it's going to be like later on. Or another thing I've been thinking about is me have me taking my time with it and starting it on my magazine and uploading pages when I can, just to you know keep white manga trending in a way. You know what I'm saying? And but. Mm. But if I'm going to do that, I still have to get the story developed enough to the point where I can do that. 
So I can't just, you know, throw, just go and be throwing pages whenever I want to throw pages. But if I have a story developed enough, I can just be, I can actually pull off the reboot and still do Apple Black at the same time. Or yeah. instead of, Sorry, uh, yeah, or instead of the Candle Jack reboot, I just do some of my other ideas. I've been thinking about it. It's I've not made my decision yet, but for the meantime, I just want to finish this first. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like obviously you're doing a lot of stuff on Apple Black, but how about um, Samurai Top Hat? Because I was actually surprised seeing that second chapter because I thought you'd only just done one. So is there is Samurai See, Top that, Hat that, like that was a longer life? Thing. You know, uh, ma uh, MAGA magazine, the way they work, if you're going to be featured or something like that, you need you need um, at least more than one chapter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the two chapters on ST, uh, STH is actually one chapter. I split it in two. Oh, I see. And that worked okay. well because the first part where the main character defeats that bad guy or whatever, you know, it could serve as its own chapter, and that's why yeah. people didn't really notice it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was, yeah, yeah. it was, it was like 17 pages, so that worked. It worked lengthwise. Where the the story, you know, how would I put it? It held by itself. You know, cutting it where I cut it. Right. So it was actually that was actually uh, just one chapter. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, what do you think? So, what's the, do you have any more plans with that, or is is it you know really? STH about that right way? now, it's um, like I said. For when it comes to you know making other any anything manga, I'm I'm just focusing on this. But when we get back to STH, I'll you know I would announce something. But uh, Ken and I would have to you know have a little some you know have some discussions first on what was going to happen with that. Right now, okay. I my your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> okay. Well, to be honest, I think my, my, more people are going to be like sort of looking forward to Apple Black because the yeah. way you've been like describing it. So it's sick, sick. So yeah, I'll be I'll be the first one to critique that out of its asshole. Please do, so. <laughs> please do, please do, and don't go easy on me. Don't go easy on me. <laughs> I'm I'm sure I won't have that much bad bad things to say, but I'll give it I'll give it my best. <laughs> uh, are there more? There are more questions. Um, Stuart, eight nine six five seven five six seven nine nine. Mate, you need to get a new username. That's just too many numbers. <laughs> as as you know, being being, <laughs> being a manga artist is the road of a fool. What made you go as far as as you are now of pursuing the dream in general? I mean, you're only a fool if that's the only thing you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm still, I'm still working on other things besides manga. I mean, if I have a chance to be a storyboard artist on one of maybe an animated show, I'm gonna take it, and I can still do uh, manga on the side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if manga was the only thing, then yeah, that would be a problem, especially because the comic industry is like, is in shizas and shit. So. <laughs> so you know, I, yeah. I still want to do my manga, but I'm still trying to work towards getting a job, maybe storyboarding, doing designs, character designs, um, maybe working with games, video games, and mm -hmm. animation. Awesome, that's cool. Uh, Talia Mamain. Uh, asks who on Manga Magazine, Divinar, or any other sh art sharing site do you find inspiring and why? So I'm guessing usernames, in in like specifically. So like, who on Manga Magazine do I like? Yeah, or Divinar. Oh, uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, either either one, Manga Magazine, Divinar, any, anything online. Um, the person who does Hell's Kitchen, who does Hell's Kitchen? Uh, Hell's Kitchen is done by Dead. Yeah, I like Dead. Uh, I like Dead. I like I like um, the guy that does Sin. Uh, Drake Suey. Drake Suey. Yeah. Um, I came fifth in his uh, competition recently. I was like, yes. Oh yeah, I saw your entry, man. That was pretty sick. <laughs> it's a pretty sick, pretty sick oh. entry, by the way. Um, Thank you. Uh, yeah, I like um, Kevin Lebranda for Nicholas yeah. Comma. 
Kevin is, yeah, I, I like his, his stuff is really, 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 really good. I think looking at yeah, his he, artwork. He won that contest. He won it? <laughs> yeah, he, he won it. Yeah, I know, man. It's like, uh, when I saw the results, I was like, well, obviously I wasn't going to win this. Like, come <laughs> on. His, his, his entry was off the scale. It was ridiculously yeah, yeah, yeah. good. I like, uh, I like Kevin. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me enter the feature section. Let me see. Mark, um, <laughs> Okamura is not that bad. Okamura is actually not that bad. Some people complain that it's, it's, it's fast-paced and all that. And maybe, yeah. maybe sometimes it is. But that dude's work ethic, you know, popping yeah, out pages every time. You know, <laughs> cool. Then um, Teresh is not bad. Teresh has is, Teresh is always been around. Teresh is uh, not bad. Right, right close, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Teresh is not bad, and um, Aegis Omega. Aegis Omega is pretty cool. Yeah, there are lots of DeviantArt. Yeah, DeviantArt, DeviantArt, DeviantArt. The thing about DeviantArt, DeviantArt, I just look at the DeviantArt. DeviantArt, I look at the, um, I only, I really just remember the artworks. The usernames I'm not too familiar, familiar with. Uh, there are very yeah. few that I can come off the top of my head. Maybe there's an Aussie guy with OSY and a couple numbers. I don't really, I can't really remember mm. the numbers. Then there's KSC332. Right. Then Lejean Thomas. Right. I don't know if you know Lejean. Uh, he worked on, uh, mm. that, he works on everything, uh, basically. Black Dynamite, uh, Korra, Avatar, etc. So yeah. All right. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, there's a what's his name? Uh, username I think is Black Satagoony or something. He's the key animator for Legend of Korra. And on Demonite, he's put like his rough, rough animations or stuff, always like pencil works. Uh, that's really cool to see. Um, but yeah, uh, Z Manga eighty nine wants to know: uh, Have you seen evolution in your artwork as you progress through Apple Black? From when I started, hell yeah, because when I started it was shit. Um, <laughs> but so yeah, basically, I mean, I wish I could show you guys the pages, but the pages are digital and they are on, they are on my uh, previous, the the crap my crappy dead laptop right now. And I'm not uh, talking yeah. about the new pages. I'm talking about the crappy pages of like 2009. <laughs> like, I wish I could show you guys to explain what how bad they were. I mean, they weren't they weren't that bad, like maybe the drawings, but the way I put things together, the way I paneled, the, the dialogue, everything was just yeah. No, it was bad. <laughs> but I wish I could show you guys. To I think it will be a good motivator to show people how I started, and it'll probably make them feel not too bad about whatever they're doing. And if they feel that they don't like it, they can you know know that they can always improve the way I've improved. So definitely, yeah, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of evolution. And that would that would be evident if I could mm. show you the pages, and maybe one day I might get crazy, and I'll make uh, un, like I'll make some kind of manga profile on manga magazine and call it scrappy scrappy scra scrappy black black or something, and upload all the pages, all the crappy pages, for everyone to see. <laughs> scrappy, <laughs> scrappy black. That's funny. Yeah. Well, I mean, if uh, if uh, I, I actually the um, other day I was looking through your DeviantArt gallery, and if you go onto, uh, if people want to see, they can go into your scrapbook, and then they see all your like previous designs yeah. and like your artwork from this you put in the scrapbook compared to what you've got in your featured gallery. You can see a significant difference from just that. So, if people are interested in that, then they should go and see that. Um, Nutella Ice Cream again asks, uh, oh, "What yeah. age did you start drawing?" Four. I drew a lot of uh, a lot of Street Fighter back then. I remember wow. drawing, uh, playing Nintendo, uh, the Super Nintendo, and drawing a lot of Ryu. And I was so in love re with Ryu back then that if my brother was, he always chose Ken, right? And if he was playing oh, with right. the computer, if he was playing like with a computer, and let's say the computer was Ryu, I always wanted him to lose. And anytime he won, I got so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's how I started, and I drew. I, I think I actually remember crying one time. He he beat me. I was actually pissed. I was wow. so pissed. I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I drew a lot That's of... That's how I get with uh, games now, so... <laughs> yeah. I drew a lot of Street Fighter back then, but I, I mean, they were, they were mostly crappy. I mean, I was four. But uh, I started drawing at four. I think. Okay. I think I think that answers her question. Or well, I'm guessing it's a her. Like, uh, you mean you have... <laughs> I mean, you have ice cream in your name, and you have Nutella. It's probably... Probably, maybe... Yeah, but XX before and after your username is uh, not as. incredibly manly as. <laughs> the comments is that they like, don't update straight away, so. Come. So uh, guys, is it breaking up? And like massive drones, so if I'm, I think it's alright. So I think before it was lagging a little bit, but I think now it's it's alright. Right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, Diabolical Wolf wants to know if you're going to be taking commissions anytime. Yeah. Um, maybe when, maybe, maybe when the website is up and running, and maybe I'm a little bored. Maybe. <laughs> When you've got time, yeah. <laughs> or okay. I'm where, I'm where I'm when I'm extremely with, with, with <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so with the with the website, is that at the moment just sort of an idea, or do you think it's gonna like? Is this like something said, that you want to get done like this year, or? Yeah, it's it's, it's something I want to get done by this year. You know, probably have to find a way to make like an Apple Black calendar, some T-shirts. Uh, sweaters like th sweaters like this, um, uh, bookmarks maybe maybe, um, and uh, you know just simple simple merchandise kind of stuff. You know probably I want to try and see if I can sell that and the manga at least the first chapter of the manga will be free and maybe when I have enough chapters to make a volume, then I sell a volume. You know what I'm saying? Right, I see. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, uh, Shingu Amito uh, wants to know how. Well, like, he he asks like if if, how, if you find panel layouts difficult, but I guess that's something that you have to just overcome and do. And um, you're pretty good at that. So maybe a better question or question more informative would be like, how do you go about uh, like creating a chapter? So what is your like? Because uh, lots of people, artists have like, and authors have different. Ways of going about it. How how do you get from an idea to a to a chapter? Um, every like I already have like the outline of the whole story, right? Then for like a, mm -hmm. a chapter, I just take part of that outline and make it a chapter, and that becomes the idea for that chapter. And in a way, it's going to stand alone, even though it's going to be connected to the previous chapter. But mm. it's going to be, I want to make it in a way that someone will be able to just read that chapter. And that would be satisfying enough. I mean, mm. to really know what's going on, going on, you might have to read previous chapters. But, you know, they can read that chapter and, you know, want to read everything else and keep reading. But the out of the whole outline, I just take a little part of it, and that's going to be the... That's going to be the main point of that chapter, and then I keep developing it and build on it until it can be 20 pages. Then I work on the dialogue, and then I work on I use the dialogue to create the storyboards, storyboards to make the pages, etc., etc., etc. But uh, I I usually do you write a script first for like the yeah I I, yeah, I write the, I write the dialogue before I do the storyboards because that kind of helps. What sometimes what the director right. is saying. Kind of gives you a better idea of where you want to view, uh, where you want the camera angles to be. You know what I'm saying? And I usually work before yeah. I even get to the. Well, during the stage where I'm working on the di uh, the narration and the dialogue, I actually work on that for a long time and make sure the whole thing is interesting. And uh, especially if there's going to be a lot of talking. But for fight scenes, fight scenes, I. I watch other fight scenes, right? Lots of them, and listen to 
pumped up music. Uh, I usually get some ideas from that. And practice. That never helped. That so did. do you do you like use music a lot while you're while you're drawing? Did you use and practice? Sometimes I, sometimes not while I'm drawing. Sometimes I could be more, some, more sometimes like I could just be instrumental music what do you listen to? Well, well, uh, I, I didn't get that. I didn't hear you. Are you there? Yeah, that just cut out for me as well. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> saying... Uh, sorry, there's a bit of lag. I was just asking, um, what... Yeah, hello? Uh, what kind of music? <laughs> yeah, what kind of music, right? Yeah. There's um, a lot of lag. Yeah. Um, let me see. I mean, it depends on what's going on. Sometimes yeah, it's not, yeah. it doesn't necessarily have to be a fight scene. Sometimes I'm not actually drawing when I'm listening to the music. Sometimes I'm listening to the music and it just automatically gives me an idea. And uh, it, maybe some really heavy metal music or it could be calm music, maybe Coldplay, or it could be really, you know, pumped up, wicked kind of music, maybe Eminem. And sometimes they just give me ideas, and I just keep the ideas. Believe it or not, I've had a lot of ideas that I've forgotten, and it kills me. So most times nowadays when I get an idea, I just, you know, rush and write it down. But uh, I already have, like, the yeah. outline. When I mean ideas, just maybe, you know, cool things. It's hard to explain. It happens so fast in my mind. It's really difficult to explain. But uh, it just helps me flow better. It helps me work better. Right, yeah. So is it mostly like do you use instrumental music at all or is it always like lyrical music? Both or both. does it differ? I ah, think yeah. it's just both. It doesn't matter okay. to me. Fair enough. Um I think uh if we just uh finish up soon, well like let's go for like maybe another ten minutes so people can get their last questions in and then I think that we should wrap it up about them. We've we've been going for an hour and twenty minutes now, so that'll end it on an hour and a half. Uh, right. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, people get get in your last questions, uh, last ten minutes of questioning, and uh, yes, um, okay, that's a good question. Uh, Shingu Amito wants to know what are your thoughts on maybe releasing Apple Black on sites like Amazon digitally, or what's your whole like when when you finish Apple Black, will you be sending it like in paper or? I mean, I, you've kind of answered this sort of before, but what what's your take on like the digital? realm of publishing yeah I, well it's uh it's definitely something to consider so it's part of the things I'm considering like I said mm. I'm not even thinking about it I personally don't even know what's gonna happen next yet right now it's just get the manga done get it as good as possible mm. but you know if I had to s sell it digitally that would you know that's definitely an option but like I said, the first chapter might even be free, so we we, we wouldn't even need to go. We not even need to talk about that. So, but, you know, mm. selling it digitally. Maybe if I have enough to make a volume, selling it digitally. You know, and you actually save some money when it comes to that. So you know, it's definitely an option. Right. So with Apple Black, when you've done it, I'm not sure if you've said already, or I'm just being silly. But um, is it? When you finish it, are you gonna? Because you said it will be free the first chapter. Does that mean you're gonna upload it to Manga Magazine when you're done, or? It'll, or it'll you know? probably be. It'll probably be on the. It'll probably be on the um the website I'm working on. Ah, I see. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but you know, sure. it's still an option. I might still, I might still put part of it. Like I can go like tease people and put like maybe just twenty pages on Manga Magazine. And if you want to read the rest, yeah. you have to go to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, your ability to uh, shamelessly promote is is unprecedented. Um, <laughs> uh, you obviously watch my video. So. <laughs> um, do you prefer being both an artist and a writer, or would you prefer uh, having a partner? I mean, you've had experience with um, uh, STH, but what, I guess... Well, what's your preference? 
being a writer or the artist? Or is that is that a as question? In, as in, as in, uh, you like, do you prefer being both art uh, artist and writer, or do you like having a writer separately working with you, like having a partner? I prefer I prefer controlling the whole thing. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I prefer controlling the whole thing. I mean, it de depends. I would always like to have a hand in the writing. Yeah. I guess. I mean, writing is actually, you know, I'm also trying to improve my writing skills, so you know, that'll be a good way. To, I don't mind work. I don't mind working with people, you know, writing wise, and I actually don't mind just drawing. In fact, I don't mind just writing, and someone else does the drawing. But uh, I think I really, really enjoy it way more if I'm working on everything. everything. Hopefully, maybe yeah. one, maybe one day, if That's I'm getting, enough. if I'm getting money, money from this. I mean, if you're gonna dream, dream, you might as well dream big, right? Uh, if say uh, Apple Black gets animated one day, <laughs> you never know, get a video game or something. I might have enough money to hire people, hire assistants. You know, like back them up. You know what I so, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back around. It's funny. Um, <laughs> well, this is a good question. Uh, Black Shadow Dragon Forty Five wants to know what, uh, which character from Apple Black is your favorite character? Ruzaki, hands down. Ruzaki. <laughs> he has this, um, um, you know, this edgy. I'm, all, I'm, I've always been a fan of the edgy character. When Apple Black mm. first started, from you know, like I've explained earlier, when it started as. Strawberry black and had you started from this small idea, right? Before it grew, yeah. Ryuzaki was actually the main character. Oh, so that's a fun fact. Ryuzaki that's a fun actually, fact. Ryuzaki was actually the main character, so that kind of hints that he actually plays a big role in this one. Um, and in a sense, there will be there will be a time when you'll be reading this manga and you you would think that Ryuzaki is the main character, but ultimately it's Sano. But uh, yeah, Ryuzaki is my favorite character because of the thing he does and the way he does it, and he kind of represents the this very edgy side of myself. Mm. Oh, I see. So, are your characters like derived from different sort of aspects of you, or is it like is it a combination yeah, I mean, of that? Yeah, some some characters are derived from yes, an aspect of me, and maybe just a little part of me and formed into their own kind of thing. And yeah. some are inspired from, you know, other things and other people as well. Right, okay, cool. Uh, the original Reaper123 asks, how many fight scenes will there be? So I'm not sure, you probably won't be able to give, like, a specific number. <laughs> <laughs> but There'll be a I'm lot. I mean, I guess as much as, you know, the typical shonen manga has, I guess, you know, them One Piece and Bleach and just as much as those. Yeah, it's a it's an action like fighting adventure yeah. manga. I mean, I can't know the so. number right now. I, I, I <laughs> Give a specific. Now. Yeah, there's <laughs> gonna be seventy three fights and you know, so. <laughs> there are gonna be three thousand and nine hundred and two. Okay, a liberation comic eleven wants to know um, what uh, that thing in in the background is. Explain the picture in the in the background. Oh, this is <laughs> this is a uh, this is something I did for art class, and it was just you know kind of messing with old Japanese art style and the new new. So on the on the right we have that's well on your left I guess, but this guy <laughs> kind of represents the new style and well. Let me see. Kind of uh, represents the new style and all. You can see it's all vagabondy-ish kind of. I was yeah. going for that, that, you know, Japanese realistic style. Well, this guy looks very, you know, old uh, school. I see. Yeah. And you can see his hands; they're all, you know, purposely drawn in a very weird way. Yeah. And he's all light skinned and representing some kind of ghost, kind of you know, ghost is like from the past. So how mm -hmm. it was done in the past, and here it's all, you know, normal, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's that's, cool. that's that's basically what this is, and it was also <laughs> what it was inspired from was actually in color. 
But um, I made it black and white for obvious reasons. Manga. Okay, that's all. That's cool. Some that nice, nice drawing. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is a good question. Gabrielle Wright wants to know, how do you manage dialogue and make it match character personalities? That's, um... <clears throat> it's difficult. I kind, of just, <laughs> I kind of just imagine what the character would say. I mean, I already know what the character... I already understand the character's behavior. You know, I'm the, I'm the creator of the character. I am God, <laughs> basically, in, this, in the manga. You know, I, I say what happens, I say what doesn't happen. Um... I I already know what the character is and how he behaves, so I can predict what they would say in certain scenarios. And so I can imagine what they would say actually. So it's almost like I just let them speak for themselves. I know that sounds kind of kind of weird, but um, I kind of just let them say what they would. I just kind of imagine what they would say and just mm -hmm. let them say. It. And if it doesn't sound right, you know. I keep working at it until it sounds right. And this is not just something that is in manga. It's, it's in movies. It's in comics. It's everywhere. It's not like a, it's not like a manga thing. It's dialogue, basically. Dialogue is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I, um, and I think uh, that's, that's how most people do it. It just allow the character to live, you know, in a, in a, in a way. Um, it, it, and that's kind of vague, but I'm sure you kind of get what I'm saying. It's just... Yeah. Allow the character to be. Yeah, and I remember you did that journal uh, of I think it was Raizaki having a conversation with you or something. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good. That's a good sort of. I I remember reading that like a couple of times over because that's actually a good way of seeing how how you can make characters seem different by just text. Because obviously you can see a character is different by like the way that they look, but. Uh, if you can make a character stand out by just the dialogue, then I guess you're doing something right. So, <laughs> um, yes. So, okay, I think we're getting close to the end. So, uh, do you have any sort of advice for people who are thinking about making their own comics or are starting drawing or haven't started drawing and thinking about starting uh, to draw or anything like that? I say... First of all, if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, make sure you love it, and don't just basically do your best. Make sure whatever you're doing is comparable to the best. Like someone can get up and say, "I this is my favorite." You know what I'm saying? Let it be, let it be on the same level or even higher than whatever is your favorite. Because at the end of the day. I mean, people could, I could say Bleach is my favorite, but uh, someone else could say One Piece is theirs. Mm -hmm. yeah, everybody, art's very preferential, but at least, you know, make sure, try, do your best to make sure that you're, re you're releasing something that's on par to that level, to the point where it's comparable. You know what I'm saying? Try to be as professional as possible, uh, do your best, and keep it real. <laughs> Awesome. Right, well, thank you very much, White Manga, for Udonze, uh, for thank, joining me. Thank in you, this, thank uh, you. Our, our, our <laughs> MP, our MP for, for uh, having me on here. Yeah. Uh, Fun fact, no, I could have been, I could have been part of this RMP thingy that you guys got going on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, peace. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for everyone who uh, was watching this. Uh, if you if you uh, answer, asked the question and it didn't get asked, then uh, sorry. But a lot of the ones that I saw were actually previously uh, answered. So if you missed the beginning of this uh, interview, you might want to check out the beginning of this interview because some of your questions were already answered. But yeah, thank thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, then thumbs it up. And if you like all our videos, then feel free to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to White Mango also if you haven't already. Uh, and if you want to, you can subscribe to me. Uh, he's got his head up. He's he's on it. <laughs> um, right, I think uh, we're ready to go. So uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, we'll catch you later. Time to end broadcast.